What I wanted to do is take a minute to go through what a global variable is and, and how it works in Java. Now, all programming languages are a little bit different with respect to the global variables. Uh, in a previous video, I kind of showed how you would do it inside of a, a C application or C++ application. Um, and basically, uh, if we take a look at what we've got here, um, in, in this, let's see here. And this, this is our, our package name. So, so we have a package, and let me uh, change that so it's not quite so dramatic. So we'll clear this. So here is our package name that, that we had declared earlier, and this is our, our main class. Now, the, by main, what I mean is this is the class that we call that has our main function in it. So this is the, the entry point for the application. Now in Java, there's a, a few different ways that you can do a, uh, a set of global variables. Um, one, you can't do like in C++ or in, or in C, I could come up here outside of any of my, my functions and declare a variable and it's automatically global because it doesn't have scope inside of the actual variable I'm sorry inside of the class or inside of a function and therefore it's it's just naturally going to be global now despite what a lot of people tell you that you know you can't have global variables they're evil and they're going to cause the world to collapse that's not entirely true and and mostly uh, said by people that don't write a lot of applications because in reality there's a lot of situations that come up where you do need to have global variables. Now, in Java, it's a little bit uh, different because I can't have uh, code in my Java application that is outside of a class. Uh, it's, kind of, it's actually kind of cool because some of the problems that people have with global variables, Java kind of solves because we don't actually... Uh, have global variables that are not related to some class somewhere. Now, the easiest way to do a global variable is to actually declare it as a static variable of some class. Now, in this particular instance, I have come in here and actually made this global variable part of my main class one class. So you'll see here I have a public variable. I'm saying that I want to call it from anywhere. I want it static, and earlier we had talked about static, but I didn't get into a lot of explanation on it. But when you declare something static, you're basically saying that this, in this case a variable, in this case an actual uh, uh, function, I want only one copy of this thing to exist in the entire application. I'm basically saying there's going to be one static location that we store this particular variable in this case, and I don't want any other copies of it. Now, if you think about uh, a, a situation where we have, um, for example, if we go over here and take a look at our class 2 Java, we don't have static here. And what that means is that when I declare an instance of this, of this particular class, this class 2 class, I am going to end up with a, with a different copy of this function for every instance that we create. When I declare it as static, I'm only going to have one instance of this, this function, or that in this case, the variable, no matter how many instances I declare. So in our main class, I have just come in here and told it that I want a public, static, it's going to be an integer, this is going to be its name, and then we're going to go ahead and initialize it to three. Now, I don't have to do this, but I, I went ahead and initialized it. Now, what this means is that in, in the case of what we were doing uh, in, the, in a previous video, we actually came down here and created an instance of class 2. So our class 2, we called it C2. We create a new class. Then we access the, the functions inside of that class. And then we here we're actually accessing a variable. Now we're doing it based on the instance of that particular class. Now because I declared this static, I don't, I don't need an instance of the class to get to this variable. All I need is the class name. So the class name in this case is class one. So if we come over here and look at where we actually are using that particular variable, let me clear this. 
you'll see that right here I am accessing class one dot global J equals 22 and then here I'm accessing it and telling it to print it so all I've got to do in this situation where I have this global variable is to give it the name of the class not an instance of the class but the actual name of the class to be able to get to that variable and use it um, now some recommendations that, that I've seen floating around recommend that you actually create a separate class that holds all your global variables in it you can do that if you want to um, it's not entirely necessary if you declare the, the main thing you want to do is declare all your global variables in a place that everything has access to it and put everything in the same place. In other words, I don't want to declare a global variable here and then come over here and declare another global variable over here. When you start doing that, it gets a little confusing trying to keep up with what all your global variables are. It doesn't hurt anything because the global variable I'm going to be accessing from over here is going to have class 2 on the front of it instead of class 1. But it just makes it easier for your source code if you declare all your global variables in one spot in the application. Whether you create a separate class just to be global variables, which makes it honestly easier probably to keep up with. Um, because I could create a, a class called global vars and let that be where I put all my global variables. And all, I, all I've got to do is declare them static and then whatever they are and then I can get to them from anywhere in the application so if you're using objective C or you know any of the other programming languages there's some concept of a global variable and and in fact in in objective C the it, it should work pretty close to the way that I'm describing here in Java um, so you you can declare the the same types of static variables i'm pretty sure I, i'll have to look at that and and i'll actually do a, a video on objective c here in the next day or two uh, to show how you actually do this kind of thing in in objective c but in all programming languages there is a concept of global variables and and you just want to make sure that you organize them keep them named something that, that you can actually keep up with um, and, and I usually put global in front of all of them. You also could make them all uppercase, although I don't really like that because that, that generally is just for uh, constants instead of you know just variables that we could change. But in any case, this is uh, how you deal with, with global variables inside of Java.